Okay, let's do some math. Here we have a horse, a pulley, 550 pounds of weight. Now let's assume that this horse, this horse can pick 550 pounds up one foot every second. And don't worry if it runs into the pulley, but we start with one foot, two foot, three foot. That is called one horsepower. And that's an international standard because horses are international. 550 pounds lifted per foot up one second. Now, man is one tenth a horse in general. And a man working all day long, this is all day long, can lift 55 pounds one foot every second. This is a tenth of a horsepower. That's man. Okay? Now let's take let's take a suburban. And let's go 60 miles an hour for one hour. 60 miles. Let's assume that the Suburban gets 15 miles per gallon, which means it burns four gallons. And let's assume that gas is $4 a gallon. That means we burn $16 to go 60 miles in one hour. Suburban, $16. $16. Now let's, let's assume that this Suburban is taking 100 horse to drive this fast. We know that that's equal to 1,000 men based on our calculation of horse to men. 1,000 men. And now let's assume, let's, let's make the equivalent calculation of men to horse, uh, the amount of energy we put in for one hour. At $7 an hour minimum wage, this Suburban would have taken $7,000 in manual labor for the equivalent of $16. $16 in gasoline gives you $7,000 in manual labor, the equivalent, 100 horsepower, 1,000 men. So if we eyeball this, this is about 500 to 1. 7,000 divided by 16, it's about 500, okay? Now let's go a different way. Let's take the 85 million barrels of oil, barrels of oil, barrels per day, that are consumed in the world. Okay? We know there's 42 gallons in every barrel. And what the petroleum companies do is they work really hard to extract half of that in gasoline. So of the 42 barrels, 20, barrel, 20 gallons of gas per barrel. Gas being the most desired hydrocarbon. That, when you multiply 85 million times 20, you get 1.7 billion, 1.7 billion gallons of gas per day. Okay, to me, that's a lot of gas. 1.7 billion gallons of gas per day. Okay? Now, we know, we know in the United States there are more cars than registered drivers. It's just a fact. So, we know there's about 300 million people in the U.S. Let's eyeball and say that there are 200 million cars in the U.S. We know that the United States is consuming one quarter of all the oil in the world. So if we multiply 200 million cars times four, we get 800 million cars because we're consuming one quarter of the energy. Now this is a, just an eyeball off of the registered drivers in the U.S. to cars. Now in fact, there are only 700 million cars, at least that's what the st statistics say. So if you take 1.7 billion 
gallons of gas, gallons of gas per day, gas, divide that by 700 million cars, you get about 2.5 gallons of gas per car per day. Now let's multiply by $4 a gallon, the, the approximate price of, of gasoline. So we are all spending $10 a day per car per day. 10 bucks, okay? Now, let's look at this 500X. We know from the other calculation that gasoline is giving us a 500X amplifier in power. Just the difference between using gas, the power in gas, and manual labor. So 10 times 500 is $5,000 a day. So $500,000 a day in manual labor per car per day. Every single person, all 700 million people driving cars are getting $5,000 in manual labor every day. Now, the reality distortion of this, of the power in gasoline is so immense that we cannot even fathom what it would be like to not have this amplifier 500X. So, as I speak to you and you try to make sense of this oil discussion, just realize that everything you see is off by 500X. And when oil runs out, we will be dropping back to a world that we're unprepared for. So that's my, that's my lecture on manual labor and oil.